A local strip club under the microscope tonight because of alleged ties to human trafficking. The Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission pulled the liquor license from that club on the northeast side. The business was the focus of a joint investigation involving several agencies, including the TABC and the Bear County Sheriff's Office. The allegations that that bar was allowing a 16 year old to work as a dancer. Now, if you're wondering why the TABC is involved in a human trafficking case, that's because their agents can inspect any licensed business at any time, allowing them to provide valuable information to other agencies that don't get that type of access. All right, Patty Santos is live tonight at the sheriff's office with the new details about this club. Patty. But just a few hours ago, investigators said they shut down this club, but uh, they were also surprised to find out the club is back open, if not getting ready to reopen under a new name. The families that live right next door to it say they want it shut down for good. There's a playground here, there's a school there, and then there's that. That is Blush Show Club and Restaurant along 410 under investigation by local and state agencies in connection to a human trafficking case. You can come back in here and you can get a free show. The girls come out at night and they, they smoke their cigarettes here. Kids at an apartment complex playground and the club separated by a chain link fence from what investigators say was illegal activity. There definitely was uh, criminal activity occurring at this location on a regular basis, which is what led us, the egregious violations is what led us to take such swift and decisive action against it, closing it. The club is also just feet away from Cerna Elementary School. She has no idea what's going on. Parents say aside from the night chatter, they've never seen any problems spill over into the apartment complex. Three weeks ago, that I noticed that it was nothing was popping because usually it is popping, I'm not gonna lie. Bear County investigators say a 16 year old told them she was brought to the club to dance and perform sexual acts. The Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission says the club agreed to give up its liquor license. We filed uh, multiple charges for human trafficking, employment harmful to a minor, and one narcotics case. The business won't be allowed to apply for a liquor license for a year. The owner will be barred from applying for a license for three years, but a sign with a new name and the bring your own beer acronym indicates it's back in business. That's going to bring a lot of concerns. I want to see what they're going to do about it. For the nine, Patty Santos. Now, the investigation started with an arrest at a Von Army strip club last fall. That has led investigators to other suspected criminal activity across the state. More arrests could be made and licenses pulled. Texas has the second highest number of human trafficking cases in the entire country. Well, we want to make you aware of some red flags for human trafficking. Take a look at these unexplained injuries, branding or tattoos, hotel keys, rolls of cash, multiple phones, or someone being unable to make a decision without the approval of someone else. If you suspect human trafficking is happening, report it. Call the national hotline at 888-373-7888 or of course, call law enforcement.